Hey everybody, it's Jack here with Living Between Paychecks Kitchen. It's uh, been a bit, and don't mind the quarantine here. Not a whole lot I can do about it being stuck here at the house for months on end, going crazy and insane. But anyway, we're doing something pretty cool today, something a bit different from our normal format. I am going to attempt to make fried rice. I've only done it twice before in my life. I don't have an actual recipe I use, so I'm just going to wing it with what I have and uh, hope for the best and see how it comes out. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so to make fried rice, you've got to have rice. Main ingredient here, really important stuff for fried rice. Can't really have fried rice without it. You're going to need some eggs. Uh, I don't know how many, just however many I feel like it. Some carrots, once again, just whatever I feel like using. Half of this uh, head of cauliflower. I'm going to use cauliflower. Half this head of broccoli. I'm going to use the whole thing. Well, I'm going to use the little trees. And maybe green onion? Uh, I'm not sure, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so probably what we want to do is uh, probably get two cups of white rice. So that's half. That's one. One and a half. Two cups. So there, we got two cups of white rice. This makes a hell of a lot of rice. If you use more than two cups, you better have a big ass skillet. <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's go fill this with water be right back all right so here's our water did not measure how much i put in there it's maybe like an inch or two deep let's find out it's about a yeah, it's about an inch deep let's go ahead and salt it I'm using sea salt here and we're going to bring it to a boil so let's get into that all right, we got our rice and water over the heater. All right, so we have our rice and water. We got to bring it to a boil. Pro tip, use hot water. It makes it go a lot faster. So this is gonna take a bit. When it comes back to a boil, we're gonna put it on low and let it simmer for about 12 minutes. So we'll come back when it's boiling. Oh, I forgot to mention, be sure to stir periodically. Don't let the rice sit on the bottom or it will burn. You do not want burnt, stuck rice in your pot. Okay, so it's got a pretty nice boil to it. I think this is when we're gonna go ahead and turn it down to a nice low simmer and let it sit for about 12, anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes. Be sure to stir it. You don't want rice sticking to the bottom like earlier. And so yeah, just go ahead and let it sit while occasionally stirring. And we'll come back when we're done. Okay, so here we are, approximately 12 minutes later. The water is gone and the rice is boiled. Next, we want to chill it. Uh, I do not recommend using freshly cooked rice to make fried rice. It doesn't work very well. I don't know why, I could ask someone else about that. So anyway, just take my word for it. You wanna chill it, you don't want it frozen, you just want it cold. So we're gonna remove it from here and put it in a container a uh, baking sheet is really good it makes it cool down a lot faster but I don't feel like using the baking sheet I'm gonna use one of these baking bowls instead so let's do that okay so yeah here you got your bowl of rice keep in mind this is about two cups worth that made a heck of a lot of rice next we want to cover it I'm using aluminum foil because I'm too lazy to deal with uh, ceram wrap this will make it take longer to cool Keep that in mind. Now we're gonna put it in the refrigerator because I'm patient. Or you alternatively, you could put it in the freezer. It'll be faster, but do not freeze your rice. So we're gonna go ahead and chill it. And when it's done chilling, we'll move on to the next stage. Okay. So when I was going over the ingredients that I had, I did forget to mention sesame oil. This is some good stuff. Uh, give it a shot if you can find it. It goes in after the rice is done cooking, but I'll be sure to show you all that. All right, so our rice has been chilled in the fridge for a while and it's just about ready. So now we need to chop up our vegetables that we're gonna use. We got broccoli, carrots. I decided not to go with the green onions. Just, eh, I figured why not. And no peas. I freaking hate peas. So we're keeping those out. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the broccoli. We're gonna try and keep the heads. Now y'all gonna have to bear with me on this. I don't eat broccoli. Broccoli is the grossest thing. Well, one of the grossest things out there. So, 
if I butcher cutting this, it's not my fault. Or maybe it is. I don't care. I don't know. So we're just going to try and cut these up into small pieces. S smaller than this, preferably. We don't want bite-sized chunks. We want pieces that you'll barely re realize as you're eating it. Get that piece out. We don't want these big pieces. Get rid of those. That's that's fine. Just go ahead and cut it up. Get it real small. And it's fine and good to go. So just go ahead and repeat this with the whole head of broccoli that you got. Okay, so yeah, broccoli is cut up into a whole bunch of small pieces. Pardon the uh, Velociraptor child in the background. Now if you get your broccoli cut, you can go onto your carrots. Now how many do we want? Uh, yeah, there we go. It looks like a good number. More or less. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. So yeah, just go ahead and cut these into really small roundels. Watch your fingers. Carrots are very hard to cut. And then chop further. The smaller the pieces, the better. But, you know, everyone's taste is different. I prefer smaller, tiny pieces of carrot like this in my fried rice. But it's up to you. If you even want carrot, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's just how you want to do it. I'm doing it this way doesn't mean you have to do it this way. This could be the wrong way. And it probably is because I don't have a recipe I'm following. I'm just winging this as I go. I don't know what I'm doing. And if you're here, there's a good chance you don't know either. <laughs> so bear with me. Once I get this cut, I'll show you in the end. Alright, so I got my carrots cut up into tiny pieces. Some of them are bigger, some of them are tiny choppy bits. That's fine, doesn't matter. At least to me it doesn't. So next up, we're actually gonna get into the cooking. So we are going to start with the eggs. So let's get to the eggs. Alright, so before we get really into this, uh, I wanna say pardon the rain you might be hearing in the background. There's not a whole lot I can do about that. It's already uh, what, four in the morning as this is going on. Okay, so anyway, uh, next up is I think eggs. I don't know how many you use, but uh, we have five left. So we're gonna use them all, because why the hell not? Oh, shit, hold up, uh, oil. Uh, wait, no. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, plenty. I should probably turn the fire on. Medium heat. We don't want it to cook too fast. We do have five eggs to add. God, I'm getting egg yolk all over my thumbs. So gross. Don't drop your eggs. It's not good for them. That's how you get eggshell. No eggshell. Awesome. Oh god, my hands. Uh, it's so gross. All right, we got all five in there. Let's turn up the heat a little bit and chop all those up. And now we just make scrambled eggs. I think this is how you make scrambled eggs. It's been a while since I had to make scrambled eggs. Alright, so see how it's starting to solidify a little bit? It keeps stirring it up because you don't want one congealed... You don't, you don't want an omelet. You want it scrambled, so keep working at it until it's a bunch of little pieces. Okay, it's starting to come together, so we're going to go ahead and start adding some seasonings to it. Just going to add some, some sea salt and some black pepper and stir it up. Just 
So yeah, do what you can to get your egg pieces really small. You don't want big clumps of egg in your rice. Or maybe you do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't tell you how to live your life. You do it the way you want. Okay, so our egg is pretty much done. The next step is cooking all the vegetables. So let's get into that. Oh, hey, before we get into the vegetables, I wanted to show you the rice. It's chilled, it's clumpy, and it's sticky. I think that's fine. I mean, I don't think that's going to hurt us any. So there's that. I guess don't be panicked, and uh, let's see how this comes out. All right, so pardon the rain. It is starting to get a little inconvenient and annoying. I'd rather do this live if possible. I'm not a big fan of having to do voiceovers when it's not necessary anymore. And so we're going to use our brand new skillet. And we're actually going to use butter. I know, it's kind of weird. I always use some sort of oil, but I've heard that butter really does make a difference with this kind of recipe. So we're going to give it a shot. We're going to use about a teaspoon and a half, I guess, for the vegetables. Yeah, somewhere around there. So, yeah, about that. That might be a teaspoon and a half. Just plop that in there, and I guess that can go with it. Okay, I don't feel like waiting anymore, so we're gonna go ahead and just add our carrots right into it. I mean, you don't have to add your carrots. You could add your broccoli first if you want to, but I mean, hey, whatever. Once again, doesn't matter. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh shit, broccoli spilled everywhere. Okay, whatever. Uh, Yeah, sure. So, next up, toss some carrots around. Okay, so sauteing your carrots can take a while. Carrots are pretty hard. And just from general cooking knowledge, they take a little bit, they take a little while to break down. So once they're where you want them, I don't know where the hell that would be, add your broccoli. <laughs> All right, so the reason we do our carrots first, if I didn't already mention it, is because they're hard to break down. They're really hard vegetables. So you want to give them some extra time to cook because your broccoli won't take very long because it's a bunch of really tiny soft pieces relatively and your rice won't take long to cook just a handful of minutes if even that so you really want to give your carrots extra time to saute and soften up okay so the carrots have been going for about two or three minutes i'm gonna go ahead and add the broccoli And see if that fell. And stir everything in real good. I'm also going to add a little bit more butter. However much that is. Good guess as to how much. Now your broccoli won't take nearly as long to cook as the carrots though. I mean, it depends on how well done you want your broccoli, really. You probably would want it soft with the fried rice, but I mean, it's up to you. I went ahead and added a little bit more butter. The broccoli seems to absorb it all up really quickly. Okay, so I think the broccoli is about where I want it. It's been about a minute and a half, maybe two minutes. So we're going to scoot everything over to the side as best we can. And then we are going to add even more butter. Maybe like uh, one, two, three tablespoons worth of butter. If I can get it into this stupid skillet. There we go. Now that may look like a lot of butter, and it kind of is. But when you see how much rice we're about to put in here, no, this is nothing. This is nothing at all. Alright, so we're going to go and start adding the rice. And it will not take long to do as long as your rice is touching the metal. But it's kind of hard to do with a small skillet like this. If you have a wok, that would be a heck of a lot better, but I do not have a wok, unfortunately. Or at least the one I have on hand is not usable. It needs to be restored. 
All right, so the rice is a little clumpy. We want to, I guess, try and break it up. So let's go ahead and get into that. Stir it. I'm probably gonna add more butter. Come on. There we go. More butter. Turn the heat up. I want high heat. Continue mixing. Now if you spill any out, don't worry about it. Just, there's a whole bunch more where it came from. Hot. Okay, now while it's frying, quickly get the soy sauce. And begin adding. Now I wish I could tell you how much to add, but I mean... I can't because I'm just kind of dashing it in there. This is reduced sodium. If the regular soy sauce has way too much salt in it. Okay, so we've been going at it for about four, four or so minutes now. I've added a little bit of oil, not a whole lot, maybe a tablespoon, if even that much. Now we're going to add our eggs. Alright, I'm going to turn the heat down because it's pretty much done. And I'm going to add sesame oil. Now this is what really brings this together. Now, I wish I could tell you add like a tablespoon of it, but once again, you're just going to have to go at it. I don't have it measured out. We're experimenting for to see if this will work or not in the first place. Alright. It's our sesame oil. Mix it in real good. Can definitely smell the sesame oil. All right, and then next up is we're gonna add some ground ginger. And then add some pepper, and then some uh, sea salt. If you didn't already get enough salt from your soy sauce. And bam. It is, I think, good to go. This is roughly maybe how you could get away with making something that you could call fried rice. Now, as to the authenticity of it, uh, that remains to be seen. But yeah, this is how I do it on the fly. Okay, so a bit of an update. I went back, put it back on the burner very high. I added some more sesame oil. I added some more garlic, because I completely forgot about garlic. I added a lot of garlic. And I added some more pepper. Maybe a little bit more soy sauce. So let's go ahead and give that a try. It's very freaking hot. I don't know if you can see the steam coming off here. Please don't burn me. The food is hot. Okay, yeah, there. It's definitely starting to get that fried rice feel with that so I would bump it up from a 6 out of 10 to 7 out of 10 um, the rice is not crispy it's a little soft I think I'd prefer crispier rice maybe more oil or something I'm, I'm not sure yeah this is definitely really good All right, so yeah there's the update so let's get to that outro well anyway there you have it I hope you didn't mind this relatively new format of not really knowing what I'm doing I'm just kind of winging it seeing how it goes uh, our fried rice experiment was kind of a success. It didn't come out entirely like fried rice you would get. But I think maybe if I played with something somewhere, it would come out just fine. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. May hopefully watching all the way through so you can see this. Uh, anyway, you can catch us here on Tuesdays, Fridays, and maybe even some extra days, really. But, I mean, we haven't done that in a while since the whole coronavirus is still keeping us hampered from production. Well, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. We'll hope to see you next time.